Hello and welcome to another update video about silver. Yeah, let's talk about let's talk about the silver chart here. The idea is, and I seem to have deleted it, that a wave one topped here in May around the 20th of May. This was wave one. Um, then, well, a five wave pattern to the upside, right? So a bullish move to the upside. There would be wave one of a larger C wave to the upside um, because we're dealing with a large, large diagonal wave C of wave three. So it's all part of a massive diagonal pattern that's likely unfolding. There are many ways how this can be counted. Important is at the moment what's happening here in the short term is important is also to understand that this is a bullish structure, a bullish scenario. But you can see that the market has not yet been able to break out of this range. We have a support range. We have a resistance range. Resistance is sort of in the area around $32, $33. Eventually we need to break out of this. This would be our signal that something is changing on this chart. Um, but we're just ranging at the moment. We're now approaching the lower boundary here of the range, the support zone. And I believe it is best to count this correction as a wave two and as an ABC flat structure, where the A wave bottomed in June at around $28.60. This is an ABC structure. We talked in the last video about the idea that this is a five wave rally to the upside, and it made sense in the context of a C wave of a larger B wave correction. And now we could move down in the C wave of the wave two. So context, wave one, wave two, and the wave two is an A, B, C. Now with that information, we can calculate the 100% extension of the initial A wave, because that is typically a key target for a C wave. To do that, we take the length of the A wave decline. We go to the top of the B wave and it takes us to $28. So I'm not saying we have to get there, but it is a definitely a key level that we should watch. It is probably one of the most reliable levels when we're dealing with an A wave and a C wave. Um, and also looking at the microstructure, it looks as if we had a wave one of C, which bottomed on the 12th of July. Then we had a wave two corrective rally. This strong move down looks like a third wave. And now it's all about, okay, is this a wave four? It might have topped already in wave four. And one more low in wave five seems likely. Resistance is between $29.66 and $29.99. And as long as we stay below $29.99, the market is short term bearish, or I should, should rather say um, the market is, if the market is really short term bearish, then we should not break above, let's say $30. The $30 level is the 50% retracement and we shouldn't really break above it if this is a, um, if this allows us for, or, well, if one more low is supposed to happen, right? So that means in other words, the $30 level, um, is a key breakout point. So it is an area where if we break above it, it would not really be a wave four anymore. It would be too large for a wave four. At the moment, it could still form a larger wave four. Yeah, but it shouldn't get above $30. So I'm watching for one more low, possibly to target 28.37 or 28. Seems likely at the moment. If a larger wave four flat correction unfolds, then it should happen from here but there is no clearly directly bullish setup for it. I'm watching for lower, but any break above $30 and I would assume a low is in. That's the update about silver. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, feel free to check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.